Cruise control on the Mini 4 Pro is one of the features that I honestly didn't think I would use that much, but after learning just how capable and powerful it is, this is actually something that I've been using since day one. And after watching this video, you two are gonna know all the ins and outs of cruise control on the Mini 4 Pro. And it's quite hard to believe that it's actually a hidden feature when you first take the drone out of the box. So we're first gonna activate cruise control, then I'm gonna show you how to use it safely, how to get the most out of it, and a few little hints and tricks that are gonna make your shots even better. Let's get into it. Okay, so the drone is now in the air, and as you can see, I'm at a beautiful beachside location here on the island of Koh Samui. Now, what we're gonna do first is gonna assign cruise control to this C2 button on the back of the radio right here. Now, the reason I'm selecting this button is because from factory, this actually changes the camera from portrait to landscape. But on the actual screen of the Mini 4 Pro, there's a button that we can tap to do the same thing. So we're gonna change this button here to cruise control. It's gonna be on our right pointer finger. And to do that, we need to click the three dots in the top right-hand corner to take us into the menu. Then we're gonna click onto control. We're gonna scroll down until we find button customization. Then we're gonna see here, we've got C1 and C2. We're gonna click on the C2 drop-down and then we're gonna go across to control and then we're gonna select cruise control. Now we've assigned this button here to the cruise control feature and we've unlocked this ability on the Mini 4 Pro. So one of the ways you can use cruise control on the Mini 4 Pro is kind of how you would use it in your car. You can use it to just sort of make your life easier when getting to your target filming destination. So in this instance, I wanna just fly to the edge of this bit of land here. So I'm gonna push forwards on the stick and whilst holding the stick forwards, I'm then gonna tap the cruise control button on the back here. The aircraft is gonna say, aircraft in cruise control, cruise control enabled. Now we can see the drone is moving effortlessly towards my target filming destination. I don't have to keep hold of the sticks. I don't have to do anything. And it's just flying to where I wanna start doing some shots. Now when it gets close to the destination like it is now to cancel it, I'm just gonna tap the button on the back whilst not putting any inputs in on the stick. That's gonna cancel cruise control. And now the drone has stopped exactly where it is and is behaving how you would expect it to. So to use cruise control to help you get cinematic shots, you can use these same principles. But the thing is, cruise control is a very powerful feature. You can actually have multiple inputs at the same time and lock them all for cruise control. So as a bit of an explanation for that, I'm gonna show you a really cinematic shot going around this piece of land that we can see here. So I'm gonna move the drone to the right. We're gonna move forward slightly, and we're also gonna introduce some left yaw. Then I'm gonna tap the cruise control button when I'm happy with the maneuver. And we can see the drone is now moving as expected and we're getting a nice shot. Cancel cruise control there before we hit anything. And along that same line, if you're in cine or normal mode, obstacle avoidance is still active whilst you're using cruise control. So if the drone sees an object, it's still gonna try and do its best to not crash into it. Now, cruise control is a very powerful feature and I can actually achieve the same kind of movement of the drone that I did just then, but I can do it by inputting stick inputs one by one and layering them until I get the maneuver of the drone that I want. So basically I can input the stick inputs one by one. So I'm gonna achieve the same maneuver that I did before this time in the other direction. So I'm gonna start off by inputting a left input on the stick here until the drone is moving how I want it to move. Then I'm gonna tap the cruise control button on the back. Cruise control is now enabled and we're strafing to the left. Now I wanna introduce some right yaw. So I'm gonna input on the left hand stick to the right until the drone is moving how I want it to. So just about there, I'm gonna tap the cruise control button again. And now it says cruise speed updated. Now this means you've updated the input on the cruise control and it's put these two things together. I can then make it even more complicated if I want. I can increase the altitude of the drone. So if I push up on the left stick, the drone is now gonna increase altitude. I tap the cruise control button again, cruise speed updated and the drone is now moving upwards as well as to the left and yawing to the right. Now you can see how you can put all these things together to create really nice complicated maneuvers. One thing you need to remember is the gimbal movement is not included in cruise control. So you have to do that manually, but I can just add a little bit of pan down here on the gimbal. And that's gonna make this shot really nice and cinematic. And it's showing off that little bit of headland that I flew to at the start of the cruise control section. So I'm gonna cancel cruise control here. I'm gonna do it just by tapping the button on the back, no control inputs, cruise control disabled, and that's all good. Now, there are many different ways that you can actually cancel cruise control on the Mini 4 Pro. First off, by tapping the cruise control button on the back whilst inputting no inputs on the stick. Remember, if we're doing something with the six, it's gonna update the cruise control speed rather than cancel it. Another way you can cancel cruise control is by just tapping the icon that you see come up on the screen. Another way you can cancel it as well is if you change the drone from cine to normal or to sports mode, cruise control is gonna cancel then as well. And the last way that I recommend you cancel cruise control is by tapping on the pause slash home button. That's gonna cancel cruise control as well and the drone is just gonna sit there 
waiting for your next input. I'm now gonna show you a very short sequence that I made using only cruise control features on the Mini 4 Pro. So as you can see from that little sequence there, cruise control is a really powerful feature on the Mini 4 Pro, and it's one that you can use to help get really nice cinematic shots with minimal effort. You don't have to hold the sticks in just the right place for just the right amount of time to get the shot. You can just set it up, press the button, let the drone do its thing, and your shot is there, perfect every time. So you're now equipped with all the information you need to use cruise control safely, effectively, and get the most out of it. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video and got a lot of value out of it. I also think you'll get value out of this video right here, where I take you through using Active Track on the Mini 4 Pro. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.